Well, hello friends. In this video, it's going to be another haul video, but it's going to be a little bit of a different haul vi video, a mixed haul video. Um, Olivia and I went to town. I needed to pick up some last minute things from Walmart for Easter and for this whole week of all the prep of different things that's going on this week. And we also wanted to check out um, the Ross. Our town finally got a Ross. They also got a Marshalls, but the Marshalls isn't open yet. They're not open, but Ross opened up, I think a week or two ago. And so we went in there to check that out. And then I went over to Bell's and uh, we went over to Cato because we were looking for some specific things. Um, Olivia really wanted a new dress for Easter. I kind of did too, but I didn't find anything that, that I liked that looked good on me. So um, I'll just wear one of my other dresses that I already have. It's not like I don't have any dresses, but we did go to Ross. Now, my opinion, first impressions of Ross I wasn't that impressed, to be honest. I know there's some people that just absolutely love Ross and you know, swear by it, but my first impressions of that store was eh, <laughs> like meh. Um, it's basically along the same lines as a Bell's, and honestly, I liked what I saw in Bell's more than what I did at Ross. But I did end up buying one item for Olivia at Ross, and then, um, well, I'll just show you when I get to that. But anyway, I'm gonna show you first what I picked up from Walmart because I have some food items that I need to get in the refrigerator. So, so let me show you what I picked up from Walmart. We are having brown and serve rolls for Easter, so I picked up two packages of those. And then tomorrow night at church, we're having sliders. I'm gonna make pizza sliders. And usually, I guess traditionally, you use Hawaiian rolls. Um, normally, Hawaiian rolls have milk in them, but this particular brand did not. So I got two packs of that to make some sliders for tomorrow night. Um, I picked up some of this Heritage uh, Curl Cream. I think this was in my last grocery haul. I bought some of this. I really, really, really like it. And so I went ahead and picked up another two because typically when I find a product that I really, really like, they stop carrying it. <laughs> so I'm going to start stocking up on this because I really like this. It works very well with my uh, curly hair. I picked up two things of frosting. I need one for an eclair dessert that I'm going to be making for our ladies. Um, we're going to have a craft night on Thursday night, and I am making an eclair dessert. Um, it's basically a layer of graham crackers, a layer of vanilla pudding, graham crackers pudding. You make three layers, top layer graham crackers, and then you um, melt a can of frosting and pour that over the top and spread it out and then chill it, and it's so delicious. Um, that's what I bought these pans for because that, my eclair dessert makes a, like a nine by 13, and I'm not gonna need that big of a pan. So I'm gonna make two smaller pans and leave one at home for the guys, and then Olivia and I will take one for the event. So that's what the foil pans are for. Picked up some pizza sauce. Uh, for the pizza sliders and also one just for in my pantry. Uh, that's what the frosting I bought two of, one for, for now, one for later. I like to do that. Um, Travis has decided he absolutely loves Chocolate Charlie. In fact, this Clay's uh, candies, the, that factory is in this area. This is a local candy and they did a job. His, his where he works did a job at the Clay's factory and so he was given this was like before Christmas and he was given a, a free box of chocolate Charlie he had never had it before and he really liked it and so he had said hey if they have that for Easter um, pick up a box well typically always in the past chocolate Charlie was a Christmas thing but lo and behold they did have it for Easter as well. Now I can't eat it or I can't eat very much of it anyway because it does have dairy in it, but this will be for Easter. I'll save this as an Easter treat. Um, for, let's see, Easter, for Easter. I've got so many events going on this week and so many things I'm cooking, I have to keep it all straight in my head. But for Easter, 
our dessert, I'm making a fruit pizza. That's where you take sugar cookie dough, pat it out in a pizza pan, bake it. Once it's cooled, you make a cream cheese and sugar, powdered sugar frosting to go on top of that. And then you put fresh fruit on it. And I'm gonna be doing canned mandarin oranges, canned pineapple, and then I'm gonna use strawberry and blueberry for that, for the fruit pizza. Also, I am taking a fruit salad for um, Easter breakfast at church, and I'm sure I will use some of these blueberries and strawberries for that as well. Probably won't put bananas in it because, you know, bananas get brown so easily. But we were out of bananas, so I just picked some up for that. Uh, I picked up a pie crust. I'm gonna be making a chocolate cream pie um, for mm, tomorrow night, for Wednesday night at church. I think I'm gonna use a graham cracker crust, but I went ahead and just bought this because these are just handy to keep in the freezer for any kind of pie. Picked up some dairy-free mozzarella for the pizza sliders. Picked up some more almond milk because I'm gonna be making homemade pudding for the um, eclair dessert and homemade pudding for the chocolate pie. Um, I picked up some of this coconut ready whip. This is for on top of the chocolate pie, as well as the dairy kind, for those who can do dairy. Picked up some more of my yummy cashew milk um, yogurt. This stuff is really, really good. And then I got a case of tea. And that is everything I got from Walmart. And so I'll get this stuff put away and I'll show you what I picked up from Ross and Bells. I think those were the only, oh, and Kato. I did end up going over to Kato as well. All right, this is the only thing we picked up at Ross. Olivia, I think I've told you guys before, she loves Stitch. And anytime I see an out, a clothing article of clothing that has Stitch on it, I have to get it for her. And it was a good thing I did because she had run out the door this morning with no jacket on. And as the day has progressed, it's gotten colder. And so by the time we got out of Ross, she was really cold. And so she ended up putting this sweatshirt on and wore it in town while we finished the rest of our shopping. But this is so cute. And she said it's really cozy. And this is like, um, what do you call it? It's like a, a fabric embroidery almost. It's an embroidered thing and it says, Hana means family, and then on the other side, it looks kind of like a sports team, and this is like an iron-on patch in the back, but this is so cute, and she loved it, and it was actually quite uh, affordable. I do have to say that about Ross. The prices are pretty good. Um, we paid, can you make that dog, dog stop that? I tried. Uh, $14.99. So that's not bad for a sweatshirt, especially a character sweatshirt. I don't think you could even get one for $14.99 at Walmart. So, And then when we were in the checkout, they had all these interesting food items and drinks. And they, both of these, um, oh, that's what all that tip tap and they were dancing in the living room. I was trying to get Olivia to make them stop. Oh my goodness. And apparently that behavior is very typical of beagles. They just do that. Can you see what they're doing? Beagles just do that constantly. Now they're gonna stop, oh, there we go. That is what beagles do. <laughs> so be warned if you're thinking about getting beagles, be prepared for chaos and mayhem in your house. Anyway, they had these um, fun looking drinks at the checkout. And these are basically just sparkling water with um, fruit juice in it. It's got clementine and peach, but that sounded really, really good. Um, the San Pellegrino, I, that sounds like a, an alcohol. I don't know, I'm not a drinker, but this is just sparkling water. I hope there's nothing. If there's alcohol in it, I'm gonna be in trouble because I won't drink it. I don't think so though. I looked at the ingredients. But anyways, yeah, sparkling drinks. I'm gonna have to look. I think it's called that because it's fruit juice and not just water, but there's only 35 calories. I think if it had alcohol in it, it would be a lot more calories. And then this is elderflower lemonade. 
And this is also a sparkling um, beverage. So the elderflower drink, elderflower lemonade, has carbonated water, sugar, elderflowers, and lemon juice, citric acid. So there's that. And then this, I'm going to have to, let me see. Water, sugar, clementine juice, carbon dioxide, peach juice. Yeah. So there's no alcohol in this. I got to thinking San Pellegrino was a... She would have carded you if it was. Probably. Oh my goodness, I look older than 21. So, I think most people use require it regardless. Yeah, I don't think they sell alcohol in Ross. But anyway, um, I think there's like a wine brand or something. I don't know. So I had to like double check it. But yeah, no alcohol in that. So that's what we got at Ross. And then over at Bell's, I found a couple of blouses that are so, 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 so pretty. This one is um, very flowy in the arms. It almost looks like a cape type of, of, of situation going on here. And it's pretty embroidered. I love the shade of green. I might just wear this for Easter, I don't know, with a skirt. But I thought it was so beautiful. And how much was it? It's the Sapphire brand. And I paid $14.99 for it. And then this is also the Sapphire brand. For some reason, I was attracted to this particular brand of clothing. And this is um, embroidered flowers, and it's real flowy. Uh, it's very see-through, so I'll have to wear like a tank top under it, but that's okay. Three-quarter length sleeves, and uh, let's see, I believe this was $12.99. So that's a very good price for those tops. And then I picked up these for Percy in particular. I would give one to Oliver, but he gets so protective over these kinds of things and I don't need a dog fight but Percy is chew 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 chews everything and one of his chew toys that was actually from when he was a puppy he's been starting to get little bits of plastic off of it so we need to throw that away and give him something else I'll probably give him this one to start with and then when this one's all chewed up I'll give him this one and this was $5.99 and $3.99. And then I picked up this toucan. I thought it was so adorable. It's metal. And I think this will be so cute on my porch this summer. It's very glossy coated and it's just adorable. Absolutely loved it. And it was $19.99. And then I saw this adorable mushroom. See how it goes with those mushrooms? I might try to stick it down in there. And this was $7.99. And then also at Bell's, Olivia saw these, and if it looks like there's less in there, that's because Olivia's been eating them already, uh, meringue cookies. And these were only $2.99. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm planning to as soon as I get done with this haul, I'm gonna give those a try. So then we went over to Cato, and I was looking for some something specific, and they, they had it, but the price was not what I wanted to pay and they didn't have it in my size. I'm looking for some more tank tops to wear under things because I like to layer. And they wanted, I think it was $12 for a tank top and they didn't have my size. So anyway, but what I've noticed about Kato, I love that store. I still love that store. I love their styles. But I noticed that their clearance section, which is where I usually always did my shopping when I was in there, was in their clearance section, um, was very much diminished in size. Not nearly the selection in the clearance racks. And I also noticed that their regularly priced items are really expensive like really expensive like just a top just a normal ordinary top was $25 <laughs> like $25 for a top like no I'm not paying that so I'm I'm a little I'm a little concerned that they're not going to stay in business because now we've got the Bells which has discount clothing we have Ross has discount clothing discount clothing 
then Marshalls is gonna be opening up soon, and I think they're a discount store as well, and Cato, their prices are just, are going up and up and up, so I don't know. I don't know what the, the, um, hit the future holds for that store, but I'll be really sad if they go out of business because I still love their that store. I still love their styles. But anyway, Olivia did find an outfit in there uh, for Easter, an Easter outfit, and I bought it for her because I had owed her. I told her I would take her to, to the store and get her an outfit because she stayed home and babysat the dogs and took care of all the chores while Scott and I went camping last fall. And she just never has been, she hates shopping for clothes and so we just have never done it. So today she found an outfit at Cato that she really, really liked. So I got it for her as kind of payment for um, her services of taking care of the place while we were gone. So she found this um, skirt she found a couple of different skirts that she really liked, but they didn't have them in her size. That was the other issue. No, I found some stuff on the clearance section that I really liked, but they didn't have my size. Even in the regularly priced clothing, they just did not have the size selection. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, she found this skirt is so pretty. She loved the tulle and the lace. It looks so good on her, this color does and they had it in her size, so she got this skirt. Now, I'll have to say, I paid $68 for this outfit, which is ridiculous, uh, ridiculous. But it's what she liked, and like I said, I owed her for babysitting the animals while we were gone, and we were having no luck finding anything at any of the other stores that she liked. And that fit her. So, got this shirt that goes with the skirt. And she can also wear this shirt with other um, other things, too. It's like a sweater, like a knit material. And she's got the ruffly sleeves. It's so cute on her. Um, the shirt was $24.99. And then the skirt was... $27.99 and then she had seen this this necklace was on a mannequin and she really really liked it and it actually comes with earrings as well so this is the outfit that she's gonna wear for Easter but like I said she's got other tops that will match the skirt she's got a really nice pair of khaki pants that would look really nice with this shirt so it's not like it's a dress where it's just one item she's got versatility with it being a skirt and a shirt but yeah we were kind of we were kind of bummed out after we left Cato because of the prices of everything the prices of everything everywhere are just ridiculous but I'm afraid that that's the future we have right now <laughs> so we were a little bit subdued coming home because couldn't find what we needed at Walmart we've been noticing a lot more shortages of things um, and then at the stores that we went to, the prices were ridiculous. Um, so it's like, yeah, retail. And also I think the other thing is, is we're so used to thrift shopping that when we actually do a retail shop, the prices are, <laughs> they kind of like sticker shock us. So anyway, it was a, an okay day. Um, the wind, it was blustery, it was rainy, the weather was terrible, but we did end up getting what we needed, Olivia did get her Easter dress and I got the rest of the supplies I need for the rest of the cooking that I have to do this week. So I would say it was a win, even though the prices kind of like shocked us. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit different than my normal hauls and um, I hope you all have a wonderful Easter. You'll be seeing this video on Good Friday. So I hope you have a wonderful Easter holiday. The dogs are going crazy because Oliver knows those um, dog treats or uh, dog toys are up there. But he, he can't have one, he gets too mean. <laughs> but anyways, uh, any, have a great weekend and we'll see you all next week. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye friends.
So I felt sorry for Oliver, and I gave him this this bone, this toy. As soon as I gave that to Oliver, Percy decided he wanted it. And so what we did is we just swapped. Now Oliver's perfectly content with this one, but he's probably gonna chew it up in five seconds. And he's perfectly content with that one. The silly dogs.